probably start on the uh <laughs> All right. we're here we're live let's pop out the chat and get this little doobly doo copied over copy link so good morning nightsmith <laughs> how is everyone doing this morning running a wee bit late just because I, I got lost in my own brain for a few minutes but that's okay so how's everybody doing this morning it's a beautiful day um, well it's a beautiful day right now it's looking like it's going to be very junky later and I don't know about where you are but Clark Summit is under a flood warning today so bleh. Ah, let's see what do we have to talk to or talk with about today is a happy Wednesday it really is um, today is actually my one uh, nephew's birthday he is turning one years old so uh, Ryan Charisse if you're watching this wish Tarden a happy birthday for me Okay, that is shared all around Facebook. Let's go to the Twitter. Twiddly Bada bada da twiddly veep. Uh-huh. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> wow, five people in here this morning. Fantastic. This is uh, much better than expected. And there is a ton of people in here. So let's go over to the uh, chat, which is blowing up earlier than usual. And we'll get to talking to people. And it looks like I missed a few... few chats already so let's go over the other screen here let's see good morning Eileen uh, Joey I was mildly suspicious when 902 came in came and I got no notification well, I'm sorry for that I like I said I was lost in my own brain um, let's see good morning Lara uh, Eileen having some technical difficulties with my crafts it's dark and has been raining since last night here in Ohio the that's no fun. Hiking plans. Awesome. It's beautiful today. Outside plans. Listen, take every advantage of the outside you can. Um, uh, Gold Scar. I'll be sleeping through most of the day anyway, so it'll be crap when I regain conscious. Well, yeah, probably, but once the, uh, the shitty weather comes in, it'll be great sleeping weather. Uh, Eileen, happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby boy. Happy birthday, unknown child. Mr. Cruel, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Cruel. It's been a hot minute since we've seen you in here. Uh, glad you're able to join us. So Laura has her hiking plans today. What is everyone else's plans? And Joey's going to be sleeping, which is going to be fantastic. Let's see, getting a ton of messages and everything else. So, wife just sent me a uh, Reddit thread. I'll read that later. Who's whose birthday? It's my nephew's first birthday, Torin. 
Uh, you guys should sun the spawn. We, I think we will. We, we took them out for a little while yesterday. Mm, I have a full day in the craft room. Have to check, check lit, have my checklist all ready to go. AEW is on tonight. What's AEW? So I have fantastic news. Um, Avatar, The Last Airbender, is coming to Netflix, I believe, uh, May 1st. So that should be here very soon, and that is a fantastic series. If you have not watched it yet, definitely go give it a look. Let's see here. Boop, boop, boop. Doing okay, thank you. Done with the move, finding new things to do around the house, and ready to open the pool as soon as it gets warmer. That is awesome. Uh, all elite wrestling. Being home means I have a lot of time to actually watch it. That's great. And uh, <sighs> it's a beautiful day. It is an absolutely beautiful day for, for doing things like that. Uh, I have all but one season of Korra. I haven't actually watched Korra yet. I know there's what one or two spinoffs from Avatar that, that kind of go back into depth a little bit better, but yeah, I, I haven't done, I haven't seen any of that. I want to rewatch all of Avatar first, and then I'll, you know, jump into all that other stuff. Um, yeah, I, I've never got into uh, any of the wrestling stuff, but it happens. I'm glad you enjoy it. Those, those guys though are stupid. Stupid athletic. Four new messages of, of things to, to say. Oh, so guys. I actually got a... Uh, and I'll probably be throwing this up on Facebook today. Um, Connor said Dada this morning. And I got it on video. <laughs> Ooh, I got two comments that I need to watch from uh, Michaela after this video is over. Uh, what is this thing? Huge caterpillars and interesting as fuck. Um, homegrown fence. I'll take a look at those. I love getting interesting, uh, interesting links from people. Usually they're mm, mostly safe for work, <laughs> and I will, I will share it on the Facebook, um, on the Facebook group after uh, after this live stream is over. Let's see, Joey. Has been good lately, even without the karate. For my husband, Gold Scar. Can't watch Core until I get season one, so it's just gathering dust like all my other DVDs. Should finish Gravity Falls. That's a pretty decent thing. Um, I will, like I said, I will share it. And thank you, Mr. Cruel. Um, that was a really great way to brighten my morning. Uh, I actually got sleep last night, which is fantastic. And I can't wait to get, get all this over, you know, once all this is over. I think, I think we should find some way to do like a bonfire or something. You know, everyone brings one or two drinks and, and, and we, we have a bonfire somewhere, someplace. Um, this, this Nightsmith live stream, this coffee with night. Uh, crowd should get together and, and and have a have a drink and you know sit around a fire for an evening uh, one of these days very soon as soon as this whole quarantine is lifted bring your masks ooh 
how about a mask party? We could do like a uh, masquerade ball type uh, thing. So everyone dresses up in their fancy clothes and, and brings bring some stuff. I think that would be cool. <sighs> Ooh, and people are making connections in the chats. Oop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doo. Oh, someone left our chat. There's only four people in here now. But yeah, so uh, it's really cool today. Sometime this afternoon, we're going to be doing a uh, Zoom birthday with my with my nephew for his first birthday party. Um, I'm kind of excited about that because. With all the prevalence of, of everything today, um, everyone's getting a little bit more tech savvy and, and tech literate, which is great. And we're able to do these things, even though he, you know, they, they live in Missouri. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy that that is a uh, possibility. And it makes me very happy that I'm able to be part of it. even from all the way over here and, and I mean, even across a different time zone. It, it makes me very happy. Do all of you have different, uh, you know, family in different time zones or? Let's see, how's the Mrs. Chris? She's doing pretty good. She's upstairs feeding Connor. Uh, he's a wee bit grumpy this morning. Uh, I got him at 6.30 or so, and he was happy as a clam. And, um, yeah, it just went downhill from there. You know, we, I got him set up to play for a little bit, throw on... Uh, Threw on some, we finished watching Lion King. We started watching Mulan about halfway through. He had a meltdown. So I went to change him and it was just, I might as well have amputated something because he just was screaming and fussing the rest of the morning. Mm. But uh, she's doing very well. Um, we both seem to get a decent amount of sleep last night, which is a fantastic change. See, Joey, the Morse clan is purely East Coast, New York, mm, PA, and Florida. Great. Uh, please say hello for us. I shall, if she's not watching. Uh, all my family is on the East Coast. That's good to hear. I, I mean, it, it definitely makes things a wee bit easier, uh, logistics, logistically speaking. And uh, teething. Yeah, he's teething. His, his two front bottom teeth are in. Um, it looks like one or two of his top teeth are starting to cut. Uh, so we, there's only so far we can go with it. We you know, keep them loaded up with Tylenol, give them, give them things to chomp on and, uh, you know, give them you know, frozen teethers and, and chew toys. Mm, hope to manage it. And, uh, eventually, eventually it'll pass.
Let's see, I'm trying to manage like 15 different things here, and uh, uh, it's it's interesting. <laughs> Started opening up uh, some stock accounts last night, which was exciting and also a little terrifying. Um, but I'm glad uh, I'm glad we did, and I think we're gonna be able to take up take uh, advantage of some market volatility. Let's see, Laura. You try driving to Florida with a grumpy old man that doesn't sleep. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been there. Uh, Twenty-one hours is is a is a long long haul, but meh. I keep wanting. I keep saying I want another one. Go for it. You have them have them soon enough. They can grow up with uh, Connor. They could all be friends. As a plan the year before Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> yeah. So who has bets on Cthulhu by the end of the year? <laughs> oh, and there's seven people in here. Well, I don't know who all seven of you are, but if you are here, say hello in the chat. Let's see, I put five on the crack in appearing. <laughs> this is gonna be like that uh, that betting scene from uh, the la the last cabin in the woods or whatever. Yeah, who has mermaids? Who 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 has zombies? Cthulhu is next year. Ah. So I'm glad people have plans. I'm glad people are going to be doing some stuff. Um. You know, <laughs> sooner rather than later, um, all this is going to be <laughs> twenty on dinosaurs. Sooner sooner than later, all this is going to be behind us, and we're not going to have this free time. We're not going to have this time to sit and chat every morning. We're going to um, So we'll see. My time is certainly coming to an end in the next week. So guys, um, really at, at the end of the day, we, we need to uh, treasure what we have, make the most of it. Um, because once all this gets back to normal, normal, um, we have like two months worth of everything to try and you know catch up on as soon as we go back to work and it's going to be such a pain daniel l good morning all i'm getting stoned and cooking some popcorn chicken for breakfast <laughs> that is it that is a great way to have a morning <laughs> Worthy of a uh, dark side of night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a great. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> 
Oh, that was a great. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, that was good. <laughs> Great way to start the morning. I, I start mine with coffee. <laughs> and today it's coffee and a little bit of Bailey's. A lot of bit of Bailey's. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Daniel, you're the new favorite. Yeah, he, he definitely wins this morning. I didn't think Snoop would grace us with his presence. Uh, yeah, Dan, you, you, you won this morning. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> uh, as far as, as far as I'm saying, everyone's doing pretty good. Um, everyone's staying pretty chipper. It's, it's looking like a nice day out. Uh, we're going to open up all, all the windows here at my parents' house, so let it ride. Um, ah. <laughs> <sighs> Great way to start. Aggressively hands really. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. This is good. This is very good. Oh, we, we lost a few people. I guess my little laughing fit kind of uh, broke everyone down. Let's see, home I guess, I don't, I don't know. But... I think someone responded on on my Twitter. I I, I can't see it. Notifications. I, I, oh, Darrell the Bull Edwards liked my tweet. Who is that? Hmm. Apparently, he is the king of motivation, and he is asking me to follow him on Instagram. Uh, well, I'm 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 glad you're uh, the king of motivation. I certainly have enough motivation right now. But if ever I'm feeling down, uh, Mister the Bull Edwards, I will definitely give you a check. <sighs> so, any projects do I have going on today? Well, um, unfortunately, the uh, changing table um, the top slat is about a quarter inch too small um, so it keeps falling through and once it falls through the first time it's just a piece of lawn once it falls through the first time it gets that bend and bow in it especially as Connors gets heavier and heavier um, so I'm going to have to redo uh, redo that so that's my, my project for today I have several commissions um, piling up now. I have the uh, you know commander deck box that I have to build out of that wood I bought, that blood wood for one client. I have a coughing bowl um, that I'm going to have to build uh, for another client. Uh, someone saw someone saw it posting around on Facebook. I don't think any, I don't know if anyone is speaking of weed. Um, so it's going to be about the size of a baseball, about a little less than three inches in diameter to the outside of the, um, the I guess the nubs, 
the vents on coughing and then two of them are going to be drilled into the like the pokemon um into where the bowl is and then you're going to have the bowl go in the front and then a little stem coming off the back and the stem will be removable so you can put it into the thing i'm going to make it out of maple <clears throat> um i'm going to have a little stand for it which i think would be kind of cool and if you want one i can definitely um you know provide you with provide you with one but the idea being uh, that you can hold the two side vents which will be significantly smaller hole wise and draw as normal or you can grab it like this way and blow into it and it'll expel smoke out of those vents um, which I think would be very interesting or no, that would, that would get too messy. I just thought of installing um, one-way vents inside of those inside of those nubs, um, so that when there's a negative pressure, it'll only draw through the bowl, and then any positive pressure after you hold the top, it'll you know, or any positive pressure will expel everything. But um, it's it's not going to be that bad. I, I I grab things all the time. With, you know, when I'm smoking a pipe, I sometimes even just tamp it with my finger. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure it'll be anything that gets used on a regular basis like that. Um, but then I'll have a partial hole drilled into the bottom nub and maybe a little display stand for it. Uh, make it out of the maple, like I said, and paint it the purple. And I think it'll be cool. But so that's my second project. And I keep getting messages from all these peoples. Uh, roundabout table nonsense just followed me. Cool. On Instagram. Fun stuff. Uh, so that's two projects, and the third is a possible commission for a Plague Doctor mask. I'm actually charging real money for this one, so I'm going to get like premium materials, premium leather, um, good copper grommets and stuff. He wants to steampunk it. Um, I think it'll be cool. And Mr. Cruel, did I ever show you the two bowl, two wood bowls I got? No, you haven't. Um, and you haven't bought any off me either. I actually made my uncle one, which is black walnut. It's like a church warden uh, tobacco pipe. I've made a couple for people that, this way. Um, a couple in my family, a couple out of family. And, you know, it looks like a, just a regular, you know, church warden tobacco pipe. But as you draw through it, it also has the, um, the same effect that a standard church warden would have it cools the smoke and it dries the smoke so it's nice and pleasant when it reaches your your mouth and your lungs lies i'm pretty sure you didn't buy one off me i don't think so anyways um and what a lot of people don't realize is there is a significant difference between um you know, weed and tobacco in how they, oh, well, I didn't realize that. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> thank you for purchasing from me. Um, um, but yeah, uh, it's not only the amount that they hold, but it's the uh, way the air passages are constructed is significantly different from tobacco. Um, and a lot of people just buy standard tobacco pipes thinking, oh, this is great. Yeah, it, it works, but it's not great. Um, you need a larger chimney. Um, uh, your bowl needs to be a little bit more shallow, a little bit wider. Usually in a tobacco bowl, you also have the bottom. If you're looking at like a cross section of the pipe, you have it come down to a point. So it, it's more like that. Whereas in a weed bowl, you kind of want it more of a U shape. Um, so there's a lot of things that are, are fundamentally different that a lot of people don't understand. Um, so it's always interesting when I'm able to make a, uh, a weed pipe because I, I, I specialize more in uh, tobacco pipes. So the ability to do this coughing bowl is going to be awesome. Um, so three really interesting projects for me. 
uh, that that have just stacked up just in the last couple of days, and um, I have to do that uh, changing table. I think I'm gonna put a few gussets in the bottom of it too because as he gets heavier, even if it is the proper width, it'll start bowing. So I can't have that. So my projects. <laughs> Ooh, and we grabbed up another person. Fantastic. Messages and, and, and notifications are just piling up this morning. It is kind of cool. Let's see, good morning, Joe. How are we doing? Uh, welcome to the party. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Like I said, I, I remade that. Um, that SD card holder, which was cool. Uh, I still have a ton of that leather, and I need to figure out. Oh, this weekend for Saturday, I want to make a, a moleskin notebook holder. Um, moleskins are, are little little notebooks that are that are travel size, um, just black cardboard uh, backing. I use them for everything. I try and carry one with me all the time. Um, problem is, uh, they're really flimsy. And um, story time. You're gonna go fire up the PS4. Good, well, enjoy yourself and enjoy your gaming. Um, I had a book I was writing. It was, it was a fantasy book. Uh, uh, I'm not going to get into the, all the details of it uh, right now, but I had almost exclusively written this thing um, in moleskins. Um, and my process was every time I would go to a party, I would make sure to take this with me. And throughout the night, I would you know jot little you know notes down, and in the morning. Uh, I have this I have this habit or whatever that whenever I get really drunk I end up waking up really really early in the morning I've never really had a, I've only had one or two hangovers in my life so I don't know you know if it's if it's just the uh, the Gallagher in me or uh, or what but I would have these crazy vivid dreams and since I was writing notes all night about um, the story in this mole scheme, I would take and jot things down and I'd write one chapter here and I didn't just write one chapter like in sequential order I, I kind of shot around uh, on these these occasions and then when I got home I would type them up give myself enough space and then fill in because I know where I'm at I know where I have to go and it's just I ended up having like a hundred and ninety some pages I had 23 chapters written um, and then my computer crashed because like an idiot I never backed it up um, and then shortly after that I was still you know starting to start to rewrite it because I, I was kind of pissy um, no that's okay and uh, my moleskins went through the laundry and I lost everything that was that was my backup that was everything so for me keeping these moleskins is very important but keeping them nice and uh, not through the wash is even more important so having it a little bit bigger so it doesn't disappear quite as well 
it has a, you know it'll have a pen attached it'll be more um, more secure against my own stupidity so I want to make one of those uh, this weekend uh, for the giveaway um, and now you have a story behind why I chose this project um, yeah so there's that and I do anticipate um, I do do anticipate making two or three of these uh, over the course of this weekend maybe and um, I think it'll be good uh, both for catharsis and just generally a good thing to have And I do have to say, I am just flush uh, with misadventures. I, I just realized that over the last couple of days. Um, that sucks. This is why I use the cloud for everything. Yeah, Joe, you're, you're not wrong. Um, I learned a very hard lesson that day. And now I back everything up two or three different places. Um, I don't necessarily use the cloud. But everything is backed up on at least two machines and one hard drive and one flash drive. Uh, yeah, I learned a very painful lesson that day. But I'm glad I learned it so that I could tell the story and hopefully uh, prevent you from making the same mistake because that sucked um, I, I really wanted to make that book I really wanted to write it and because since that happened I hadn't really it, it took me almost 10 years to uh, <sighs> to even want to approach that project just again Let's see Joey back everything up on everything I got like three flash drives and two phones for just such an occasion. That's that might be a little overkill, but yeah, back everything up, <laughs> back everything up, guys. It, it, it's just not. It is so not fun to have such a horrible, horrible experience that it, it just it's not worth it. Listen to my shitty stories and. Hopefully you can uh, avoid some catastrophe and some heartache. Round table nonsense. Interesting. Wonder if I can get onto this their show. Maybe I can. That'd be cool. Ah, uh, uh, Lara Blackwell, Joey. So that's where my flash drive went. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it happens. But, meh. So many messages from people. And Mozilla just froze. Cool. Thanks. Different flash drive. Interesting. So, let's see. I have to, also today I have to work on the stocks a little bit more. Um, it took a little bit longer than I expected to get everything up and running, which, yeah, whatever. Um, and now they're asking for additional information just to confirm it because whatever. I guess, you know, first time opening an account, they wanted me sure that it's not identity theft, which... I appreciate um, flash drives Joey one doesn't work and another has my Wii U backed up on it so I really only have one and the other phone is broken well then how is that a backup if it's broken 
Um, what else do I have to do today? I want to clean out my car. I really I should have done that yesterday, but I need I really need to clean out my car. Um, and then I really need to take a serious look into websites. Uh, if anyone has any good ideas as to which service I should use, um, I would very much appreciate it. And I would also appreciate it if they could use AdSense on there. I don't know if I want ads on our website or not. But I could get it fixed. It worked then. Well, until you do, you can't really count that as a backup because it's broken. Uh, that's more that's no more of a backup car than one that has a weed growing through the engine in the backyard but yeah if my car breaks down I could just do a couple couple easy quick things and it will be on the road to learning oh that's what that heart means there's the heart from Twitter Durr. See, I'm, I'm not really that tech savvy or tech literate. I pretend to be because that's what I have to do for a living, but I'm, I'm really not. <laughs> um, open widget. What is that? Is this going is this, is this to crash everything? No. Durr. Uh, let's see. Another chat from Joey. Well, there's stuff on it now. There's stuff on it. Now that I think about it, I'm essentially holding my own stuff hostage. Yeah, you kind of are. Um, meh. Happens. But yeah, back everything up. Make sure everything is good. Um, strange today I didn't have a song uh, stuck in my head this morning maybe it's because I did just sleep that well who knows uh, other projects for today oh because I was so happy with how the second revision of the SD card holder came out I am going to have to make a pattern off of that one. Um, really sit down and really um, like intensively go through and uh, measure everything and really take my time and uh, put all that onto put all that into AutoCAD so I have it all locked away where's that checklist Chris then you would know you're right you're right Eileen you're right I would know if I took the five minutes to write the checklist down but I didn't um, I try and do these uh, live streams kind of extemporaneously um, sometimes it works out great and sometimes it doesn't uh, I think it provides for more of an authentic bleh, words. I think it provides for more of an authentic experience. So you don't see me measured, you don't see me edited or you know revised. You see me as me in the morning uh, after one or two cups of coffee. So that list is coming up next. after I get off of here. I also need to practice my Duolingo. I, uh, I didn't do it the last two days. That's my fault. Um, my phone has been yelling at me to do it, but I, I just haven't. Uh, so I'm a bad student during this quarantine. Mm. Uh, Lara, Joey, you need to learn how to checklist with efficiency. Uh, that way you don't forget stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Joey, I don't think you watched yesterday, but uh, yesterday's live stream was de uh, devoted to uh, two different topics, and they were both generated by Eileen in a conversation, a business call I had with her the night previous um, because she's starting her own business, Porce Rich Designs. Um, 
and I'm trying to help her figure out a lot of the back end stuff and you know, management and, and troubleshoot shit. Um, I was here for the lecture. Oh, good. So uh, put that into practice. But anyways, that was all generated. That whole topic, all of yesterday was pretty much generated uh, from that conversation with Eileen the night previous. Um, so it is it is definitely worth uh, looking. And if you haven't, or if you really just go get that book. Um, Every Tool is a Hammer by Adam Savage. It is so worth it. It is worth every penny and then some. But the, the most important thing I found in there that um, is not exclusively relevant to makers is the the listing, how he how he uh, does listing and knolling, um, because everyone has a toolkit of some sort, whether it's your stuff at work, um, stuff at you know your 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 desk, and uh, Joey, I don't need to fathom you, the depths of your laziness because if you get more efficient with what you do, you are allowed to be more and more lazy. Um, so if you do a few small things to increase your efficiency, your laziness can compound. Maybe I shouldn't be telling you that. That might have been bad advice. <laughs> I think that was bad advice. I think that was very bad advice. <sighs> Maybe I should just go for a drive at some point today. Just see the world for 10 minutes, an hour. Um, tell him that he needs to become efficient. So, I mean, it, it, meh. six hours? I mean, a little stretch of the legs. Who knows? Weaver leather. What about them? I actually do need to uh, to contact Weaver at some point today and and do some sort of a uh, a transaction with him, whether buying leather or buying some uh, some edge beveling tools. Something needs to happen. That's your six hour drive. Hello, and to see me. Well, see, here's the thing, Eileen. You're about eight hours away. Um, and there are another hour past you. Because that eight hour trip from here to you is the shortest route. If I were to go to Weaver, it would be nine hours, whether I stop by your place or not. Um, and then there's the return trip. And I'm sorry, but I don't want to go for an 18-hour drive today, plus shopping in the middle. Just not something that's in, in, the, in the stars for me today. I'm sorry. I want to. I really want to. But I'm just, I can't. Again, no. That's like 24 hours. I'd have to get up at mid, I'd have to leave at midnight just to get to you at a respectable hour so we could have breakfast and then go out, go out to, 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 to you know, to, to their store and, and then shop for four or five hours, drop you back off and then, and you know, skedaddle home. I, I want to, I, I just can't. Next time I come out your way, though, we will go to Weaver, and um, I'm sure Rich has a few things he'd like to show off as well about your new hometown. But, uh, meh. <sighs> 
six people in here. Beautiful. I love seeing this this gain momentum and, and, and get traction. It's more enjoyable for me. The more uh, more people stop stop in and say hello. So if you're here and you haven't been in the chat, say hi. We'd love to have you. And uh, the dark side of Nightsmith does not bite unless you ask politely. <laughs> Yeah, I you know, I really wish there was more stuff close to I, w I wish there was more stuff, good stuff uh, close to me, but everything seems to be at least two hours away. Added to the saying for the mugs. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, by the way, Eileen, does... Uh, that 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 uh, I forget what it is that that ink that, that transfer ink stuff that wet ink or whatever whatever you call it um, is any of that uh, heat reactive? Uh, Daniel L. Hey, if you guys want to have a vacation, just get get some good pot and find find creative things to do at home. I go on vacations every day with good pot and YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, I, I could see. I could see that being a fun time. Um, Eileen Lowell. Uh, water slide. Yes, the water slide. Um, is any of that heat reactive? Just thinking. Because it'd be kind of cool to have like the Nightsmith logo. Um, and then on one side, it would be, you know, in, in only heat reactive ink, you know, dark side, and then a quote. And after you have the mugs made, you don't even know what the quote is because you can't see it because it's cold. And we can, now this, this is just some, some interesting for, for merchandise purposes. Um, so you don't even know what it says until you fill the mug up with coffee and then it gets hot. And then that, you know, that dark side quote pops out. And as soon as the coffee's gone, the quote has disappeared again. Uh, Gold Scar, are we related, Danny? <laughs> Eileen, you have to bake it on ceramic mugs and glass, but how do you mean here? Yeah, so, like that. I don't think so, but I can look into it. I mean, it's not a requirement. But I just think that'd be really cool to have, uh, um, you know, it's every mug is, you know, different quotes. They're all not just the same. So, um, you know, there's maybe six or seven quotes on, on all of that. Um, and then when you order one, you don't know what the quote is until you get the mug and have your first cup of coffee in it. Which I think that would be cool and that'd be a fun little fun little game like collect them all. Uh, once the print for my printer gets here, I can try water slide out and show everyone. Beautiful. And you said you figured out the issue with your screen printing last night which I'm excited to see the new results now that you have fixed that bug. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. And my hair is just all fly away today. It's actually because I showered the other day and I wasn't able to put any product in my hair. So it's just all over the place. Um, after I shower, I actually use, <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this, but I use uh, Dapper Dan um, hair product just to keep my hair in check because my hair is long and flowy. And that's also why I wear skull caps all the time. It's not cause I, you know, it's not cause I'm balding or anything. It's just, my hair just goes everywhere. It's very light and fine and has a mind of its own. Um, but I get flyaways all the time. 
So I use that da Dapper Dan to try and control it just a little bit. And then of course I use my own beard balm in my, in my beard. Um, but yeah, fly away here, all over the place. I don't know how well it's shown up on camera, but I, it, it bugs the hell out of me. Um, and it's on the checklist, good. Uh, I'm excited to see what the, uh, the results are. Yeah. So I have two websites to look at creating today. I have the all those projects to play with. I have uh, the first thing I need to do after this is do the checklist, then do the stocks, and then do the new uh, changing tabletop. I mean, that thing keeps falling through, and every time it does, my heart stops for a minute. Um, so I need to fix that, and that's numero uno on my checklist. Is, well, number two, actually. Stocks first, because um, every minute we wait uh, is, could be hundreds of dollars. Um, hundreds of dollars potentially lost so yeah. uh, Lara Blackwell Dark Side of Nightsmith is a priority project yes um, well here's the thing about this and it's, it's, it's almost time for me to go but I want to I want to talk about this a wee bit um, usually the best most stable business for any small business is being a client to another business um, Laura, you've you've experienced this being my beard ball manufacturer. Eileen, you're going to be my merch merchandise lady, so um, you'll experience this soon. It, it'll be the it might not be the biggest boon, but it is the most stable one. Um, so while it might not be priority, it 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 really needs to be up there, and I need to get these systems in place. Uh, for both of you um, so that things run more smoothly more efficiently and everyone makes money because I firmly believe a rising tide lifts all ships so the more I pump you guys up the more I pump myself up everyone just kind of comes up and I, I, I'd like to see everyone be um, as independent as possible even though we're interconnected uh, this will allow you guys to start working for yourselves as opposed to working for some other entity, some other boss, because we'd be in a contract and you wouldn't be my employees. You'd be your, you'd be self-employed. And I believe that's the way forward. Um, and I want everyone to, and th this is why I also contract with people I trust, people I know, people that live here because I want to, I really believe that the, the, the microfacturing, I believe that the maker movement is coming in force. I believe it is here to stay and it's only gonna grow. And I want everyone I know to get in on that wave. Um, if it means lifting up one person at a time to become part of the, the whole Knightsmith Collective family, uh, uh, just another tentacle on the octopus so be it but I want to make this a reality for all of you <sighs> ba -ba 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 -ba. a little bit of hopefully uplifting word vomit at the end hopefully anyways guys it's past 10 o'clock I know I started a couple minutes late but it's past 10 o'clock uh, this day is ticking away. So I'm going to peace out. I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope all of your projects come to fruition. And Eileen, I am excited to see what those, uh, those water slide inks look like. So hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching. And I really hope I see you tomorrow morning. All of you, especially you, Dan, because you were hilarious today. <laughs> all right, guys. Y'all take care, and thank you for helping me get this world better. One curve at a time. I'll see you tomorrow morning.